Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Today we're going to be taking a tour through the Psalms. We're simply going to be reading some Psalms. There is a reason that I'm simply doing this for the 30 minute message today, and I will share that with you near the end of this video. So for right now, let's hop into it. We're going to start at Psalm 42, which is also the beginning of Book 2. The Psalms are broken into five overall books, each one having multiple Psalms in it. So Psalm 42 starts off in Book 2 of the Psalms. Let's go. To the chief musician, a contemplation of the sons of Korah. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God, with the voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept a pilgrim feast. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, for the help of his countenance. O my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, and from the heights of Hermon. From the hill Mizar, deep calls unto deep at the noise of your waterfalls. All your waves and billows have gone over me. The Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me. A prayer to the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with the breaking of my bones, my enemies reproach me, while they say to me all day long, where is your God? <clears throat> why are you cast down on my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, the help of my countenance and my God. Psalm 43. Vindicate me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man, for you are the God of my strength. Why do you cast me off? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your tabernacle. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. And on the harp I will praise you, O God my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, the help of my countenance, and my God. Psalm 44, to the chief musician, a contemplation of the sons of Korah. We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us, the deeds you did in their days, in days of old. You drove out the nations with your hand, but them you have planted. You afflicted the peoples and cast them out. For they did not gain possession of the land by their own sword, nor did they own arms sa nor, nor did their own arms save them. But it was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you favored them. You are my king, O God. Command victories for Jacob. Though you will push down our enemies, oh, through I'm sorry, through you we will push down our enemies. Through your name we will trample those who rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, nor shall my sword save me. But you have saved us from our enemies, and have put to shame those who hated us. In God we boast all day long, and praise your name forever. Selah. <clears throat> but you have cast us off and put us to shame, and you do not go out with our armies. You make us turn back from the enemy, and those who hate us have taken spoil for themselves. You have given us up like sheep intended for food, and have scattered us among the nations. You sell your people for next to nothing, and are not enriched by selling them. <clears throat> You make us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to those all around us. You make us a byword among the nations, a shaking of the head among the peoples. My dishonor is continually before me, and the shame of my face has covered me, because of the voice of him who reproaches and reviles, because of the enemy and the avenger. All this has come upon us, but we have not forgotten you, nor have we dealt falsely with your covenant. Our heart has not turned back, nor have our steps departed from your way. But you have severely broken us in the place of jackals, and covered us with the shadow of death. If we had forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hands to a foreign God, would not God search this out? For he knows the secrets of the heart. Yet for your sake we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake! Why do you sleep, O Lord? Arise! Do not cast us off forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our affliction and our oppression? For our soul is bowed down to the dust. Our body clings to the ground. Arise for our help and redeem us for your mercy's sake. Psalm 45. To the chief musician, set to the lilies, a contemplation of the sons of Korah, a song of love. 
My heart is overflowing with a good theme. I recite my composition concerning the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. You are fairer than the sons of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O mighty one, with your glory and your majesty. And in your majesty ride prosperously because of truth, humility, and righteousness. And your right hand shall teach you awesome things. Your arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies. The peoples fall under you. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. All your garments are scented with myrrh and aloes and cassia, <clears throat> out of the ivory palaces by which they have made you glad. King's daughters are among your honorable women. At your right hand stands the queen in gold from Ophir. Listen, O daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your own people also and your father's house, so the king will greatly desire your beauty. Because he is your lord, worship him. And the daughter of Tyre will come with a gift. The rich among the people will seek your favor. The royal daughter is all glorious within the palace. Her clothing is woven with gold. She shall be brought to the king in robes of many colors. The virgins, her companions who follow her, shall be brought to you. With gladness and rejoicing they shall be brought. They shall enter the king's palace. <clears throat> Instead of your fathers shall be your sons, whom you shall make princes in all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore the people shall praise you forever and ever. <clears throat> psalm 46. To the chief musician, a psalm of the sons of Korah. A song for Alamoth. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling. Selah. There is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy tabernacle of the ta or the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. <clears throat> God is in the midst of her; she shall not be moved. God shall help her, just at the break of dawn. The nations raged; the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice; the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us; the God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord, who has made desolations in the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Psalm 47. <clears throat> to the chief musician, a psalm of the sons of Korah. O oh, clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with a voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is awesome. He is a great king over all the earth. He will subdue the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He will choose our inheritance for us, the excellence of Jacob whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our king, sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth, sing praises with understanding. God reigns over the nations, God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the people have gathered together, the people of the God of, of Abraham, for the shields of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Psalm 48, a song, a song of the sons of Korah. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in his holy mountain. Beautiful in elevation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is in her palaces. He is known as her refuge. For behold, the kings assembled, they passed by together. They saw it, and so they marveled. They were troubled, they hastened away. Fear took hold of them there, <clears throat> and pain as of a woman in birth pangs, as when you break the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God will establish it forever. Selah. We have thought, O God, on your loving kindness in the midst of your temple, According to your name, O God, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount, let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion and go all around her. Count her towers. Mark well her bulwarks. <clears throat> Consider her palaces, that you may tell it to the generation following. For this is God, our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to death. <clears throat> Psalm 49. 
to the chief musician a psalm of the sons of Korah. Hear this, all peoples, give ear all inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall give understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb. I will disclose my dark saying on the harp. Why should I fear in the days of evil, when the iniquity in my heels surrounds me? Those who trust in their wealth and, th and boast in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their souls is costly, and it shall cease forever, that he should continually or continue to live eternally and not see the pit. For he sees wise men die, likewise the fool and the senseless person perish, and leave their wealth to others. Their inner thought is that their houses will last forever, their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man, though in honor, does not remain. He is like the beasts that perish. This is the way of those who are foolish, and of the posterity who approve their sayings. Selah. Like sheep they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them. The upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. And their beauty shall be consumed in the grave, far from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. Selah. Do not be afraid when one becomes rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dies, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Though while he lives, he blesses himself, for men will praise you when you do well for yourself. He shall go to the generation of his fathers. They shall never see light. A man who is in honor, yet does not understand, is like the beasts that perish. Psalm 50, a psalm of Asaph. The Mighty One, God the Lord, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun to its going down. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God will shine forth. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous all around him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let the heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I will not rebuke you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings, which are continually before me. I will not take a bull from your house, nor goats out of your folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the world is mine in all its fullness. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God thanksgiving, and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked, God says, What right have you to declare my statutes, or take my covenant in your mouth, seeing you hate instruction and cast my words behind you? When you saw a thief, you consented with him, and have been a partaker with adulterers. You give your mouth to evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I kept silent. You thought that I was altogether like you, but I will rebuke you and set them in order before your eyes. Now consider this, you who forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoever offers praise glorifies me, and to him who orders his conduct aright, I will show the salvation of God. <clears throat> Psalm 51 to the chief musician, a psalm of David when Nathan the prophet went to him after he had gone into Bathsheba. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done this evil in your sight that you may be found just when you speak, and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. 
Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then they shall offer bulls on your altar. Psalm 52. To the chief musician, a contemplation of David, when Doeg the Enemite went and told Saul and said to him, David has gone to the house of Ahimelech. Why do you boast in evil, O mighty man? The goodness of God endures continually. Your tongue devises destruction, like a sharp razor working deceitfully. You love evil more than good, lying rather than speaking righteousness. Selah. <clears throat> you love all devouring words, you deceitful tongue. God shall likewise destroy you forever. He shall take you away and pluck you out of your dwelling place, and uproot you from the land of the living. Selah. The righteous also shall see and fear, and shall laugh at him, saying, Here's the man who did not make God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches, and strengthened himself in his wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I will trust in the God, or in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise you forever, because you have done it. And in the presence of your saints, I will wait on your name, for it is good. Psalm 53, to the chief musician, set to Mahalath, a contemplation of David. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt and have done abominable iniquity. There is none who does good. God looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand, who seek God. Every one of them has turned aside. They have together become corrupt. There is none who does good, no, not one. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call upon God? There they are in great fear, where no fear was, for God has scattered the bones of him who had camps against you. You have put them to shame, because God has despised them. O oh, that the salvation of Israel would come out of Zion, when God brings back the captivity of his people. Let Jacob rejoice, and Israel be glad. Psalm 54. To the chief musician, with strained instruments, the contemplation of David, when the Ziphites went and said to Saul, Is David not hiding with us? Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and oppressors have sought after my life. They have not set God before them. Selah. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with those who uphold my life. He will repay my enemies for their evil. Cut them off in your truth. I will freely sacrifice to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of all trouble, and my eye has seen his desire upon my enemies. Psalm 55. To the chief musician with stringed instruments. A contemplation of David. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my supplication. Attend to me, and hear me. I am restless in my complaint, and moan noisily, because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they bring down trouble upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is severely pained within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling have come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. So I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest, Indeed, I would wander far off and remain in the wilderness. Selah. I would, escape my, I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it on its walls. Iniquity and trouble are also in the midst of it. Destruction is in its midst. Oppression and deceit do not depart from its streets. For it is not an enemy who approaches me. Then I could bear it. Nor is it one who hates me who has exalted himself against me. Then I could hide from him. But it was you, a man my equal, my companion and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked to the house of God in the, th in the throng. Let death seize them. Let them go down alive into hell. For wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. As for me, I will call upon God and the Lord will, shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon, I will pray and cry aloud. And he shall hear my voice. He has redeemed my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. For there were many against me. God will hear and afflict them, even he who abides from of old, because they do not change, therefore they do not fear God. 
He has put forth his hands against those who are at peace with him. He has broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. But you, O God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in you. I will stop there for now. That leaves me with ten minutes. There's a reason I did this. Um, one reason, I've every now and then I've read like a chapter of the Bible, and I think it's all been in the Psalms. A short psalm, a psalm that's about the size of a normal Bible chapter for the sake of showing you it's not that hard, and it doesn't take that long to read the, to read a ch one chapter in the Bible. There's some really short ones, and then there are the normal size chapters that take a few minutes. It's always very quick. It really doesn't take that long to read the scriptures. Today, I wanted to show you yet again, reading the scriptures doesn't take, I don't know, it doesn't take an incredible amount of effort. It's not some great, horrible task that's wearisome, and it's not something that takes up a ton of time. We just covered multiple, how many did we cover exactly? How many did we cover? I, I read through Psalm 55, and I started, where did I start? I started at Psalm 42, so Psalm 42 through Psalm 55. That is 13 psalms within the span of 20 minutes. Reading the Bible isn't hard, it's not cumbersome, it's quite simple. And not only is it simple to do, not only is it easy to do, as well as beneficial, sometimes it's also good to read more than one chapter at a time. Sometimes it's good to just devote yourself to reading the Bible for a set amount of time. Sometimes that's also a good idea. The Lord speaks to us and ministers to us through His Word, and if we're not in His Word on a daily matter, especially or on a daily basis, especially for those of us who possess the Bible and, and are able to possess one, there are some places in the world where the Bible hasn't quite gotten to yet, or places in the world where Christianity is so persecuted that believers like swap pages. They'll memorize a page front and back, and they'll trade that page off to another person in their church that all of them might get the Word of God secured and locked down in their hearts. Reading the Bible is something that is good to do. It's profitable. It's not hard. It should be done daily. And I just wanted to show you guys what it meant to read more than one chapter. You know, what you could do in 20 minutes. How much you could get. And if you read a little bit faster than I did, you'll get even more of the Word of God in you. If you want to know who He is, and you, understand, you want to understand what He thinks and how God goes about looking at the world, reading the Word of God is like the key and the path into the mind and heart of God. You're not going to get anything more authoritative or more definitive than the Word of God. It's right there and should be taken advantage of. Also, this brings up a very personal memory. I thought it was good to show you all what it meant to read the Word of God for beyond one chapter. I thought it would be good to just read the Psalms for a little bit. Also, I remember the time when my Paul was dying. Of course, the, it was in a hospital, and my mom, I, he were there with um, an associate pastor from the church he was going to at the time. And, you know, it was a very, you know, when someone's on their deathbed, um, it's a very, he was unconscious at the time. But it, it's heartrending to be there. Um, it, that's one of the hardest places that a person can, be, can um, be at in this life. So what I did, in the middle of all that pain, I just opened up to Psalm 1, and I just started reading out loud. And I just read and read and read. I have no idea how many psalms I covered. I don't know how long I read for. But I know by the time I was finished reading, my mom was actually, she was sleeping peacefully. She had stopped crying. The associate pastor, he, was, he, was, he did a good job. He was, he was calm, cool, and collected through the entire ordeal. So he did his job as a, as a pastor and as a, uh, a spiritual caregiver. He did his job very, very well and didn't let the emotions get to him, even though he was a good friend of my pawpaws. But I remember in the middle of my own pain, in the middle of my mom's pain, just reading the Word of God, it was a balm, a soothing ointment on the wounds that we were currently, um, currently carrying and were currently cut open. It was a beautiful and wonderful thing. And peace, the peace of God, descended on that room. And it was very, very special to me. So not only did I want to talk about how wonderful and great the Word of God is and how you should just read it sometimes, I wanted to share that personal story with y'all. To me, reading the Psalms for an extended period of time is a very personal thing. Uh, it's very 
It's very personal, very private, and very precious. And what else is my YouTube channel not for if not to give you all some insight into who I am, to look at the kind of person I am, the things that I'm interested in, the things that are special to me. That's, uh, I don't want to just entertain on YouTube, otherwise I wouldn't have any preaching videos. I want you guys to get to know who, who I am. And hopefully, through me, some of you who don't know God, I hope, I'm hoping, hoping that you'll get to know Him through me. I'm hoping this will be a good chance for you to become a Christian and to get to experience God for yourself, maybe for the first time in your life. And for those of you who have never accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, I think just reading the Word of God, that the Holy Spirit's probably tugging on some heartstrings right now. He's probably doing a work right now. And right now, some of you all know you need to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Can I invite you to do that right now? Don't wait. Don't delay. Don't put it off. Right now, make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Tell him you believe that he died on the cross for you, shedding his blood for the forgiveness of your sins, and that he rose again the third day, guaranteeing you eternal life in heaven. If you want to model prayer, if you can't really think of how to put that into words or how you want to say it, pray this prayer with me and mean it from the bottom of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I admit that I'm a sinner. I know I need your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross, shedding your blood so that all the wrongs I've ever done can be forgiven. And I believe you rose again three days later, guaranteeing me eternal life in heaven. Save me right now, Lord. And thank you, Jesus. Amen. And for those of you who prayed that prayer, congratulations. You are now a Christian. You are now a member of the family of God. Welcome. It is good to have you. If I could encourage you, now that you are a believer, today's message was actually really pertinent to you. If you would take the time, <clears throat> if you would take the time to read the Bible, maybe not 30 minutes a day, and sometimes, depending on the length of the chapter, maybe not even an entire chapter a day, but read the Bible a little bit every single day. Like I said earlier, it'll get you thinking like God thinks. It'll get you to know how God thinks on things and what he thinks about various situations in this life. And it's, it's a very, very good habit to form. It'll strengthen your spiritual life more than a lot of other activities. Other activities, however, that I would strongly encourage you to do, find a local church. They also believe that Jesus is God. They believe that the Bible is the Word of God. Find a church. Find a group of people who worship and pray to the same God as you. It is greatly encouraging and very beneficial for your walk with the Lord to be surrounded by other people who love God and care like you. And finally, if I can encourage you a little bit to just pray every day. It doesn't have to be some grand, long prayer or a whole hour. It can, it can be an hour or even longer if you so desire. Um, God loves to spend time with his children. But even if it's just a simple, God, help me, this day sucks, or God, thank you, this day is awesome. God hears those prayers. He receives that praise and thanksgiving. And he, he, and he answers those prayers. He will answer that for just a, a help me, today sucks. God hears that prayer and he answers it. And, you know, thanks, God, this is a good day. It's short and sweet and to the point, but God receives that thanksgiving with gladness. Delights his heart when his children thank him for the good things that he's given them and praise to him to get through the hard times that he is allowing currently in their life. So that is it for this video. Holy smoke, it's not 30 minutes. Unbelievable! Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.